Hello friends, um, in this tutorial we are going to learn about email marketing tool GetResponse. Uh, you know that email marketing is very important part of uh, digital marketing or affiliate marketing. So if you want to promote your affiliate products and all, uh, building your email list is very important. Um, so GetResponse will uh, help you design sign up pages or landing pages to build your email list. So we'll see what are all the features that uh, GetResponse is providing to uh, uh, build our list. So GetResponse is email marketing tool. It has a number of features it provides um, to build your uh, uh, marketing tools. So you can do sign up pages, you can do marketing automation, you can do webinars and autoresponders. If you don't know what are all these things, you can um, go into more details uh, um, in this tutorial. Also, you can promote your business online using landing pages, or you can you can do Facebook ads also using this tool. There is a conversion funnel. Uh, if you know about, if you already heard about funnels, uh, you can do conversion funnels using this tool and you can as if you have a e-commerce store or um, yeah, drop shipping store you can sell your products and um, create e-commerce integrations and do paid webinars using this tool so there's a lot of features uh, this uh, email marketing tool and they market it as uh, a business running tool with all the uh, features uh, it provides so the best part is you can try it for free for 30 days and uh, you know, test its features before you can buy the buy the software so if you come to pricing So if you look at the pricing, GetResponse is one of the cheapest email marketing tools. Uh, the basic plan starts at $15 per month for a list of 1000 subscribers. And uh, if, you have, if you need more features, uh, you can go for $49 per month, right? And uh, um, as I told you before, you can do a 30 day free trial uh before you um, go for monthly plans right um, and if you have if you have long term use you can get more discounts using yearly plans so let's get into the sign up process and see what we need to do so you can just fill uh, uh, put name email and password to start your free, free trial so i already created mine um, there is no credit card required for free trial, that is a good thing. Um, so I already created mine, so I will just log in. So this is what you can, uh, this is the dashboard you can see. So I see if I built around 500 contracts in, uh, contacts in my list. And uh, let us see what are the menu options available in this tool, right? So we have email marketing, autoresponders, automation, webinars. Uh, you can do conversion funnels, landing pages, surveys. Right. The cool thing is you can do Facebook ads as well using within this tool. And if you have a e-commerce or dropshipping website, you can do stores and products. You can as well store uh, your lead magnets and images and files and images section. And you can as well integrate with different applications and uh, Facebook APIs or Google ads using integrations and APIs. And there is mobile apps options available right so these are different menu options available let us look into the list features how we can create lists these are my different lists that i built in a week's time so we can do the same so if we want to create a 
a list go to the create list button and uh, you can put a name for your list so the name should be unique and uh, it's better to put the name in all lower case um, that's how the application requires you need to give only lower case letters This is already existing in this test. So we have the list created. Uh, let us see what it has. It's my email list is created today and this is zero contacts. So you can add a contact manually. Right? If you already uh, somebody gave a permission, you can add email uh, address uh, manually, or you can upload from a file. You have a, like a CSV file or Excel file, and uh, there is options uh, that once you upload, if a email already exists, it will add and update, or it will only add, it will only update existing ones. Right? So there's a couple of options available there. Um, so that's how we're creating a big email list. Um, similarly, you, you want to do email marketing, right? You can do landing pages, right? Landing pages uh, you can do for affiliate, affiliate marketing and all. These are the landing pages I created. Some of the uh, like sign up pages and all that. So you want to do landing page we go to create landing page and the good thing is there's a lot of templates available to build landing pages so we have like different templates uh, for general templates sign up and registration so if you are in your uh, website if you want to um, include a sign up form you can do that uh, you can lead generation template, online marketing, uh, like different things, right? If you want to promote something, you can do this, you can download like lead magnets, you know, sales, webinars. So they have like a different pre-built templates. You can preview the template, uh, and see how it looks. If you like it, you can use it, or you can do from scratch, right? built from scratch so you can select some template and you can edit edit the template as for your uh, requirements so let's see so this is how it, you can put your logo some image you can put a text and your email address and all you can put a button like here it says sign up, or you can make it a sign up. Right, these are the input fields, so you can just put like subscribe to my newsletter. And you can go, you can actually do preview the mobile version of it. How it looks right this is how it looks so you can readjust it if you want you can select the blocks move it to there right this is the well version go next and you can do a thank you page as well <coughs> once a subscriber signs up we can put a Thank you page. Okay, then you can do you can name your title like sign up. Let's say newsletter. Sign up page. Some description. You can do some URL if you have a custom domain, you can do that. Otherwise, you can use the uh, subdomain provided by get response. And 
So you can choose right which list uh, this is going. So you can select the uh, list we created before. So you can do confirm opt-in and thank you page, so the default page. Right, then publish actually. Um, so you can track using uh, uh, Facebook pixels or uh, Google AdWords uh, for tracking purposes. That's uh, for if you are trying to sell something or uh, uh, trying to, uh, if you are running an ad, right, you can do that. Okay, this is not available, so it's better test, you can do. So we created a landing page, right? So you can check how it looks by clicking on this link. There you go, we have a, like a landing page to call up email addresses, right? So let's do a simple test. To see if this is working or not. Just to sign up. Right, congratulations. Right, so, so let's see if we have an email that came up. Back. There you go. This is in the in, uh, Hindi, I think. I probably picked up a uh, setting wrong. Let me do English. Right. So the setting. Okay. I think this came up as Hindi. We'll do translating. So this is this is the email. It's a default email that we can configure anyway. But, um, right. So you can get that. We go download. We upload a PDF, you can get the PDF downloaded here, right? So that's how the running page works. So the why big, um, so if you see this came as a um, Hindi version, so that you can, there is a settings in the list page. So the list we created, my email list, go to settings, list settings, I think default uh, it's coming as in this, so we can make it as English. Right. Then your emails will go in as English, right? Then here uh, in the subscription tab, there is a send subscription notifications. Whenever somebody signs up, you get a notification. If you don't want it, you can switch it off, right? And also, you want to confirmation, right? The confirmation is good so that. Uh, people who signed up um, are real users who are interested in the, the newsletters, right? So we can save this. So that's how we create a newsletter uh, using landing pages. Similarly, we can do autoresponders, automation, forms and surveys, so forms and surveys. So, there's a lot of templates available to create forms and surveys. So, you can build new forms and surveys or use templates, right? So, it's up to your imagination, right? What do you want to do? That's a good feature. Um, let's check other things. So one of the other things we use is conversion funnels, right? I created a number of funnels where there is a flow defined, say like say this email marketing, right? So this is a funnel, right? So you have a like a a sign up page or marketing page and, uh, you can see who are the contacts you can see what is the download um, see if you are um, uh, sharing an ebook or something yeah. that file is linked here so and uh, on top of that you can create facebook ads also in the funnels so so basically 
if you are promoting an ad uh, or you are sharing an ebook uh, with your uh, subscribers uh, to build your email list so this is one of the funnel right so it has a uh, downloads this is the uh, download section where the ebook is available for download uh, this is uh, contacts or signed up for this funnel this is our email uh, url where you are uh, asking users to sign up right and, um, if you want you can create facebook ads also right so there is a step by step process you can do to create these funnels right? let's see how we can do this so we do a create new funnel so what do you want to do you can lead magnet funnel or opt-in funnel right ask visitors to subscribe without an offer right or if you have something uh, like an ebook or uh, some cheat sheet uh, that you want to do you can do this or you can do a sell a product right full sales or quick sale or you can promote a webinar host webinar or trade webinar right so let's try do a panel for uh, opt-in panel okay so let's say sign up uh, opt-in panel we'll call this opt-in panel i'm just showing you like how you can do this first we have to do like a sign up page again just like we did before you can just select some template right and it says ebook online courses um, lessons for success if it has do this online course and this is the thank you page i'm just um, selecting some template right i'm not going to do any optimization yet here Let's wait for a minute. Right, this is how it is. A landing page. We can like, we want. We can uh, change the text, delete the text. Right, we don't want some of the pages. This is our sign up page. That's for success. Something like this. You can do mobile version of it. Right, how it looks on mobile right and this is our thank you page right there's a lot of text you can do um, change the same Im images and all right so i'm just leaving it as it is for now so this is what option page right Let's say opt-in text, right? You can see URL that where you can access the page and default uh, it is thank you page. So you can do page pixel sum up. Let's publish it. So we created an opt-in page. So, so this is our opt-in page right so this is now we have a funnel where we have opt-in page when somebody signs up that contact get added to this funnel and we can track it right let's see that so this is our page right so we can just fill some data This is a camera, we've got a thank you page, right? Now let's see what our funnel is saying. So let me refresh this page. You should see one contact. See, 
you got one contact or one unique visitor and if you want to send an email to your contact you can do an email from here let's say welcome message So sign up for online course. Thanks for it. Just sign up in. Okay, opt in. Opt in and right. That's the subject. So you can do like a blank template or you can take any existing templates you want. Let's do a simple template. Right. So you can put brand logo, the name comes here, then you can just put whatever information you like, right? Say um, thanks for Opting, opting into the online course and send online course details shortly. Okay. So you can add your images, uh, brand logos, and all that here. Yeah, for now, we will make it really simple. So, it's, you can as well create Facebook ads at this point, but uh, <coughs> we are not doing that today. So, you can see there is a welcome message. So, if somebody signs up, we get a welcome message automatically. So let's try that out. Let's try it again. Let's see if we get some message. So we have one contact already in the funnel. So this will be our second contact right let's see that let's refresh this so we got two contacts and there is one email sent right so let's see if we got an email see the email is in right so we got a brand logo we thank for opting in will send the online course in detail shortly. So that's how you create a funnel, right? This is the funnel. So similarly, you can do autoresponders, you can do automation, there's a different flows that's are available. Like, uh, so if you want to send emails in a sequence, like <clears throat> there is an email you want to send in day one, there is an email you want to send in day three, like that, you can create like a automation sequence. Right. So similarly, you can do webinars and uh, you can manage all your files and images here that you can use it in the um, uh, uh, the application, right? So, so these are all the different features available. I think you got an idea on what are the features available and get response. So, if you like this video, please like, uh, like it, comment it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.